Welcome to your wrist therapy class. In today's class, I'll take you through a lot of wrist-based exercises that can be great to do before a handstand or yoga practice, or it can also just be great to do if you're feeling some stuff going on in your wrists and you want to increase your flexibility there, your strength, or just overall sense of ease in that area of your body. So to begin, we're gonna do a forearm massage. And this is something that I love to do right before I jump into any of my other wrist exercises because it just loosens up my forearms. And it's not too long of a massage. I just do it really quick. So what you're gonna do is take your right arm across your body with your left hand. You're just gonna place it on over top of your um, right forearm and you're gonna use your thumb to knead into the muscles of your forearm and just working your way from your elbow all the way down to your wrist just to wake up that area, get the blood flowing a little bit. And you can really do this as long as you feel like you need to. And then once you do that, you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna grab with your uh, middle finger and index finger on one side and then thumb on the other side. And basically what I do is just rub into both sides of my forearm now on either side, again, working from elbow all the way down to my wrist. I'm not going too hard, but I'm also making sure that there is some pressure going on. Again, just to get the juices flowing, to build up a little bit more heat there. Again, you can do that as long as you want. We'll switch over to the other side, start with thumb on top of your left forearm, and then start to work into your forearm here as you work from elbow to wrist. Do that a few times. There's many other ways that you can massage out your forearms as well. So if you personally have done this before, then you can always, always do anything that feels really good to just massage out this area. Take your index finger, middle finger and thumb around your forearm, kind of like on the sides, and then start to work into that here. Awesome, and then you can relax that. Now lay, raise your arms over your head and you'll start to circle your wrists around, slowly lowering your arms down to your sides as you do that. Once they're down, change the direction of your circle, raise your arms all the way up. When you get to the top, relax your arms back down. Lift your right forearm with your left hand, use your thumb and your index finger, find the crease of your wrist. So just above the bony part of your wrist, there's like a little divot so that when you squeeze and make a circle with your fingers, you're kind of in this groove between the palm of your hand and where that bony part of your wrist is. So give that a gentle squeeze, not too hard. Then make a fist with your right hand and start to circle around with your fist. And this little squeeze helps to lubricate the joints. So helps to get the juices flowing in this area. Switch directions. And then pause that, we'll do the other side. So lift the left forearm with your right thumb and index finger, find that little groove, create a gentle squeeze, and then make a fist with your left hand and start to circle around. Go the other way. And then pause and release that. Coming forwards onto your hands and knees, Fingers are pointing straight forwards. Start to rock forwards and backwards on your hands. So even after those first few wrist exercises that you just did, you might feel that your forearms are feeling a little bit more warm. Maybe your wrists are also feeling a little less stiff. Start to circle your shoulders around. And the other direction. And pause that in center. Point your hands outwards towards the sides of your mat and start to rock side to side.
pausing that again in center, turn your hands backwards towards your knees and start to rock forwards and back there. You can even play with rocking back far enough to peel up the heel of your hand to stretch further into the fingers. And of course, with any of the exercises that we do today, you can always do them as long as you feel like you need to until your wrists and forearms start to open up. Pausing that, take the backs of your hands down, fingers pointing towards your knees. Try to spin your inner elbows forwards and then start to rock forwards and back. And with these rocks, if it's ever too intense to do both hands at once, then you can always do one hand at a time. Release that, plant your palms flat down. So options from here, you can come into a kneeling position, upright or a seated position, or if you have the hip mobility to do so, then you can step up into a Malasana squat really up to you. Doing it in a Malasana squat can be nice just to open up other parts of your body at the same time. Raise your arms over your head from here and then open and close your fist as fast as you can, almost like you're trying to flick water off of your hands. And as you do this one, you might feel your forearms or even your shoulders start to feel some heat. We'll just do a few more. Try to keep your elbows straight. And then release, let your hands come back down and come back onto your hands and knees from here in your tabletop position. Shoulders stay over your wrists, hips over your knees, engage your core here so tailbone down a little bit. Now I'll take you into your wrist push-ups. These are great to help build up strength and control in your wrist and in your forearms. So the first version of your wrist push-ups that you're going to do here is lifting just the heel of your hand. So the palm of the hand lifts, your four fingers stay down, and then you slowly lower down. You're trying to do both hands at the same time, but if you need to do one hand at a time, you can totally do that. We'll go for about eight in this variation. And before we get started, another thing to note with these, sometimes the shoulders rock back when we lift up. So you want to try and keep your shoulders over your wrists as much as possible, elbows nice and straight. So as you exhale, slowly lift the heel of your hand up and then slowly lower back down, trying not to use momentum here. Again, lift up, back down, again. Four more, three, two, and one. Good, so if you felt some stuff in your wrists or forearms there, that's totally normal. Now we'll jump right into the next one. So the next one, you're going from flat hand all the way up to your fingertips and then back down. Same concept, try not to use momentum, making sure that your shoulders stay over top of your wrists. We'll go for another eight here. So when you're ready on your exhale, lift up fingertips, back down, up, lower, that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome job. Okay, sit back onto your heels. Now what you'll do is you'll bring your fists together and then take the backs of your fists down in front of your knees. Making sure you keep a nice tight fist, slowly start to straighten the elbows as much as you can. If they don't get straight, that's totally fine. And then just breathe here for a few. You might be able to get straighter the longer you hold. Maybe you have one arm that's tighter than the other. A 
couple more breaths. And then slowly rebend the elbows and gently peel your fists off of the mat. And now you'll come up to stand for the last couple of things. Have your feet about hip distance apart or so. Feet can be parallel, knees a little bit bent. And then on your exhale, just fold yourself down over your legs. Bend your knees as much as you need to here. And then flip your hands around so that your fingers are pointing towards your feet. And then you'll slide your hands underneath your feet, trying to get your toes to your wrist crease. Once you have this, just start to bend your elbows backwards towards your shins. So you're stretching into the wrist, but also your hamstrings. You can relax the neck. Then release that, take your hands out. You'll flip the backs of your hands down now so your palms are facing up. And once again, slide them underneath your feet, toes to wrist crease, and once again, Bend your elbows towards your shins. Let the head go. Awesome. Slowly take your hands out from under your feet and gently roll yourself all the way up to stand. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, you can do any of those wrist exercises at any point in the day or before your handstand or yoga practice as they're great to open up the wrists. And sometimes, even though we use our hands a lot, we forget to give that area of our body some love. Thank you so much for joining me in my wrist therapy class and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.